allow me to welcome you all with the traditional salutation of the prophets. In the words of the prophets of God, I say to you, Assalamu alaikum, which means peace be unto you all. You are attending this course on the Holy Bible, and I happen to be a Muslim. Naturally, the question arises in the mind of non-Muslim, how can a Muslim talk about the Bible? What is his authority? Now, the Muslim world seem to have accepted me as an authority on the Christian Bible. But the non-Muslims, they don't know. And the best testimony, the best reference I can present to those of you who are not Muslims is from the mouth of the opposition. The people who are out there to give battle to me, let them testify about me. This book has been published in South Africa called The Challenge of Islam in South Africa. The publisher, they call themselves Jesus to the Muslims. They are interested in preaching to the Muslims. They are not interested in the Hindus or the Jews. They are interested in the Muslims. Mission to Muslims. Jesus to the Muslims. Now in this book, the author uses the name Ahmad Didat more times than his Lord Jesus Christ. If that is not a testimony, the whole book is about me, but it's the challenge of Islam in South Africa. The man speaks about the Tablighi Jamaat, the movement among the Muslims, the religious pious people, he says they are not a threat. They speak about the Muslim movement, he says they are all fanciful names. The only guy you know, who is in the forefront of this missionary work or giving battle to the Christian missionary is Ahmad Didat. So the whole book is devoted to Ahmad Didat. Here is another publication called The Commission. It's a Christian magazine published by the Baptist Church in that they had a Baptist journalist of this commission visiting South Africa and they couldn't miss out the Islamic Propagation Center. So they came to my offices in my absence and they went through uh, finding out what they're doing, what work is being done from here, and they wrote an article. And in that article, a visit to the mosque, all that is included here, and they have something to say about Ahmad Didat. A defender of Islam, that's my title. In this Christian magazine, I am called the defender of Islam. 